lot of damage, a lot of wind. God, it was amazing. Of course, the water Sunday or Saturday when, after the storm came through was about right here. The town, whole town was completely gone, so, you know, it was very devastating to come back and see. Just look around, uh, most of the houses are either gone or uh, will probably have to be dem demoed. When the storm came through, it destroyed this whole marina and sunk a lot of boats. And I came down three or four days before the storm made, made landfall, along with some other uh, representatives of Crowder Gulf. And we made contact with all the cities and told them we were here and we we're standing by and we'd hold back out of the way until the storm passed and we'd be ready to move in and go right to work. But in fact, we, we do ride the storm out in the EOC at times if they invite us to come into the EOC so we can assess the damage right after the storm hits and get our equipment and manpower into place. We created this, this place, this site here in, in Crystal Beach to handle the majority of debris in Crystal Beach area, and that was the hardest hit. These communities, they have their day-to-day -day responsibilities and their, their manpower and equipment need to be used for that. So when it's on such a large scale that they, they need help, that, that's how Crowder Gulf can play a role. I mean, it can be a small community, a large community, but... Yeah, it was pretty, it was the biggest thing we've seen around here in a long time. It was, it was, we were wondering how long it was going to take us to get cleaned up. We, we, we knew if we had to do it, it wasn't going to, you know, this stuff would rot and, and, and blow away before we could get it all picked up. And uh, I guess the hardest part was trying to explain to the public, uh, we were inundated with phone calls, you know, for the first uh, uh, two or three weeks. They couldn't understand why their debris hadn't been picked up yet. And uh, people just could not understand the magnitude of it. Having Crowder Gulf contractors on site here, uh, camping here, staying in tents, trailers, uh, it made it work very, very well for us. They're, they're a well-managed group. They've done a good job for us. We don't have an office with executives setting up in an office overseeing what's going on. The executives of this company are out in the field watching what's doing it and, and, and directing what's happening in a cleanup operation. We hired Crater Golf because they're the experts. I'm not a debris management person, um, don't have to do this very often, and when I had questions they were logical answers and there were and uh, so when I wasn't sure why something was being done and I asked, it was, it was answered, made sense, it had no questions about it. So. You think it's gonna take you forever to get anything back to any type of normalcy. And in no time at all, the city of League City got back up and running very quickly. And that was with the help of Crowder Gulf. The, uh, the quick turnaround, the desire to get on the ground and, and make things happen was great. Uh, someone within that firm, and they, it obviously has to filter from the top down, understands the cooperative efforts required, particularly in a politically elected job. I and mean, You've got to keep your constituents happy, keep his workers happy and my guys happy, and, and they work well together. Uh, and, and no question is a contractor that can handle that kind of a, 
a disaster.